welcome to the class in this video i am going to solve one simple example on the chinese reminder theorem example is x is congruent to 5 mod 3 x is congruent to 2 mod 5 and x is congruent to 1 mod 11 we need to solve this by using chinese reminder theorem or simply they may give as crt okay solve using crt Already we have solved such examples. This one is asked in some uh, question paper of uh, some autonomous college. Okay. Now you know Chinese reminder theorem. First, according to Chinese reminder theorem, whatever equations are given, we need to find their a1, a2, a3, and m1, m2, m3. Okay. These are the given equations. Two more five x congruent to 1 mod 11 okay now here when you compare this with the general form what is a1 a1 is 5 a2 is 2 and a3 is 1 hmm? these are a1 a2 a3 now m1 m2 m3 sorry m1 is 3 m2 is 5 m3 is 11 so once you know this what is the next step next step is write the formula the solution is in the form the solution is given by what is your standard solution for crt it is x equal to a1 small a1 m1 into m1 inverse s plus a2 into m2 into m2 inverse plus a3 m3 into m3 inverse mod m capital m okay we call this as equation one now our aim is to find all these values we have a1 a2 a3 now we need to find capital M1, M2, M3 and M1 inverse, M2 inverse and M3 inverse. Okay. But we know that capital M is product of M1, M2, M3. So M1 into M2 into M3. M1 is 3, M2 is 5 and M3 is 11. So 3 into 5 into 11 is 165. We got M. Now, M1, capital M1 is M divided by small m1. M is 165, small m1 is 3, so it is 55. Therefore, M1 is 55. Next, M2, M2 is Capital M2 is capital M divided by small m2. Again, M is 165, small m2 is 5. So, it is 33. So, M2 equal to 33. Now, we need M3. M3 is M divided by M3, small m3. So, 165 divided by 11. So, it is 15. So, M3 is 15. Okay. We have got capital M1, M2 and M3. What left next? Next is the inverses. But, how to find inverse? We know that. Which property you are going to use now? m1 into m1 inverse is equal to is congruent to 1 mod m1 okay like this so m2 into m2 inverse is congruent to 1 mod m2 like this therefore first one is 55 55 into m1 inverse is congruent to 1 mod 3. Yes. Now, 
how will you get inverses now so when you multiply any one number here then you should left out with the remainder as 1 okay when it is divided by 3 like this so when you put m1 inverse as 1 it is 55 when you divide 55 by 3 you will get a remainder as 1 therefore that is the smallest number okay like this you need to clarify inverse so m1 inverse is 1 for this okay you can check next second one m2 that is 33 into m2 inverse is congruent to 1 mod second small m2 small m2 is 5 so now here 33 so when you multiply with 33 with 1 33 when you divide it by 5 the remainder is 3 okay we should get 1 only so when you multiply with 2 it is 66 divided by 5 what is the remainder remainder will be 1 so you can write m2 inverse as 2 so mod 5 therefore m2 inverse is congruent to sorry m2 inverse is 2 and next m3 is 15 into m3 inverse is congruent to 1 mod 11 so now 15 when you put 15 into 1 okay 15 remainder is 4 so when you put 2 it is 30 when you divide it by 11 so it is again 8 so when you multiply by 3 so it is 45 when divide by 11 so it is 1 so you can put it as 4 so 1 more 11 finding all these is by inspection method only means go on substituting start it from simple value that is start uh, from 3 sorry you started from 1 sorry it is 3 i said 3 no it is 3 it is 3 now we have got all the values we know a1 a2 a3 we have because in the formula equation 1 we need a1 values a1 m1 m1 inverse a2 m2 m2 inverse so we already know a1 a2 and a3 now what we did we found m1 m1 inverse m2 m2 inverse and m3 m3 inverse substitute all the values in equation 1 okay now equation 1 can be written as or you can write equation 1 becomes x is equal to this is the required solution okay this is equal to a1 is 5 into m1 m1 is 55 into m1 inverse it is 1 plus a2 is 2 into m2 33 into m2 inverse it is 2 plus a3 a3 is 1 m3 is 15 and m3 inverse is 3 mod capital m capital m is 165 so this is equal to 275 plus 132 plus 45 mod 165 add them once you write them then the remaining is simple algebra okay now it is 452 mod 165 so now divide 452 by 165 okay when you divide 452 by 165 what happens what is the reminder 165 2 side is 330 so remainder is 122 so it is 122 so remainder is 122 that is our solution so x is equal to 122 is the required solution this is how to solve 
the given modular equations using CRT to find the solution. Okay. Keep practicing such examples. You may get such examples for 7 marks. If you have still any doubts, you can comment in the comment box. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, do subscribe. Take care. Thank you.